Let me tell you about zeolite, specifically cleanup tillolite. It is created on the planet when a volcano erupts under the ocean, underwater, and it creates this special silicate that has a unique structure. And the structure is such that it allows electronegative outside and electronegative inside within the structure. It behaves a lot like a sponge, or at least the, the general metaphor could be a sponge. And that sponge is able to attract into itself electropositive things. And these electropositive things will include lead, mercury, cadmium, other toxic heavy metals, and also volatile organic compounds that will include uh, the uh, dry cleaning fluid and formaldehyde from furniture gassing off and, uh, and of Teflon and his cousins and so on. All these chemicals are electropositive in their nature and will be attracted to these electronegative spots on zeolite. This is important because your body, your immune system, will hide anything that's electropositive into tissues of low circulation. That will be fat, cartilage, and bone. It's called sequester it, hide it away, because it cannot go safely through sensitive organs like liver, or kidneys, or spleen. So once you introduce zeolite into the picture, zeolite being electronegative on the outside and also electronegative on the inside, whenever it in encounters these uh, toxic electropositive things, and they have to be large enough. Think of it as a fishnet with large openings. It will not catch the small fish. It will only catch the large fish. And the large fish are the lead, mercury, and cadmium, and not the little fish, which would be calcium and magnesium and other minerals that your body needs. So it traps the toxic things you want to get rid of, and it leaves the body in three to four hours. So for most effective use of zeolite, you would want to be taking a dose at least twice, if not three times a day. The zeolite will encounter these electronegative, pardon me, it will encounter these electropositive things, trap them, hold them, and get them out of you.